Welcome to this Leica Xena Mobile CAD editing and sharing video. Since the release of Xena Mobile 1.7, it's been possible to import CAD files, but they could only be used as read only base maps. With the release of Xena Mobile 3.4, it's now possible to both edit and share DWG and DXF files. This benefit is only available in Xena Mobile Professional. Let's see some example workflows. You can start in the field with a new Xena Mobile project and measure new points, polylines, and polygons with GNSS. When ready, you can directly export your features in Xena Mobile to a DXF or DWG file. The resulting file looks exactly the same in AuthorCAD. You can load an existing DXF or DWG file in Xena Mobile. Xena Mobile is handling the CAD file formats natively and does not use a conversion process which can alter the original. This means there is no conversion in the background. The benefit is that you won't lose any objects and formatting when you export it back to your CAD platform. When open in AutoCAD, untouched objects will remain the same and new additions will be present. You can import an existing shapefile in Xena Mobile and make edits using GNSS or by digitizing. When you share the shapefile to DXF or DWG, a conversion takes place. Keep in mind that only attributes in point layers will be stored. In addition to the previous workflows, you can also share KML to CAD, ASCII to CAD, CAD to KML, and CAD to ASCII. Let's now have a look at how to display CAD files in Xena Mobile. Let's start by importing a CAD layer in the Layers menu. When you load a CAD drawing, the coordinate system cannot be automatically read from the file, so it's important that you know which coordinate system you should select to display the data in the correct place. When CAD files are imported, they appear as an expandable collapsible group. The top part of the group is the CAD drawing layer. Tapping on the arrow allows you to expand the drawing to see individual dataset layers. Tapping on its name opens the group settings that allow editing the symbology of the drawing. Any change done in this section will affect the whole drawing. If we go back to the Layers menu, we can expand the CAD data layer to see individual dataset layers. Every CAD layer has a zero layer. It is a default layer normally used for blocks, but you can use it as you wish. Every other subsequent data layer under zero contains all the elements of the drawing. Symbology of individual dataset layers can be modified. Speaking of symbology, let's talk a little bit more about it. The symbology of CAD objects behaves differently from Xena Mobile because of the fundamental differences between CAD and GIS formats. To start with, blocks will be available to use as a symbol in Xena Mobile. When you add Xena Mobile symbols and export as a CAD file, the symbols are converted to blocks. Regarding hatches, Xena Mobile does not support all the hatches of CAD. When a CAD file has a solid hatch, the hatch is also displayed in the same colour. When a CAD file has a gradient from colour 1 to colour 2, Xena Mobile will always show colour 1 as a solid hatch. When a CAD file has a complex fill with colour 1 and colour 2, Xena Mobile will always show colour 1 as a solid hatch. In Xena Mobile, all closed polylines are displayed as polygon features with a separate polyline feature running around the entire perimeter of the polygon. 
You can visualize splines, circles, and arcs, but you cannot modify them or activate them. However, you can edit the symbology of these features. Text is also displayed in Xenomobile, although it's not possible to modify it. For point layers, attributes can be used as labels. These will be stored as text when doing a CAD export. In addition, all attributes will be part of the block, so you can activate them as text later or in AutoCAD. Editing CAD files. You can perform all the usual feature geometry operations with CAD files as you can with Xenomobile features. That includes measure and update points and vertices for using GNSS, Measure and update points and vertices using the Digitize tool. Snapping also works with CAD files. Use unique Xenomobile features such as Multi-Collect, Smart Positioning, Cable Locators, Disto and Laser Range Finders. Sharing CAD files. From the Layers menu, you will be able to export individual layers and choose whether you want to do a CAD file in DXF or DWG format. The resulting CAD file will be included in a zip file. When you share a Xenomobile project that includes a CAD file, the file will be retained inside the zip file with any other layers. You can share CAD layers to the download folder of your device, supported cloud storages and removable storage media. However, bear in mind that CAD drawings cannot be shared to ArcGIS Online. Thanks for watching. For more information, please refer to the detailed documentation available in MyWorld.